whenever I come on a platform and I see the COP television, I feel a sense of pride. <laughs> because I think it reflects what has really happened in the politics of this country over the last three years. That a group of individuals have come together on the ideals of a new value system and have been able to persist against all odds to overcome the obstacles that have always been in the way of those who seek a new sense of truth in the country that has tried and its politics have tried on the basis of falsehood. That essentially is why the Congress of the People became a vehicle that cannot be stopped in this country. And I tell you here today, I assure you, that the Congress of the People will not be stopped. I want to say, first of all, how pleased I am to come to yet another milestone in the development of this party's institutions. First, we had the Operation Center in Shabwaters. And then we did what many people thought was unthinkable, but we created the psychological, the psychological war of getting into Port of Spain and establishing our headquarters in what is now called flagship house. I say that because as I said two days ago at the press conference when we decided on an accord that the essential point of that press conference was that we agreed that no seat shall be safe for the PNM anymore. And our presence in Port of Spain is but an indication of a desire to make that true. But to make that true, we are also making and saying another message. We have decided now, at the beginning of the 21st century, as we bring a new generation of people to live in this land, that race must not be a factor in the political life of our country. It has been the factor that has kept us in this state of paralysis, and it is the factor on which past politicians have been able to build political empires. On one hand, you had those in the United National Congress and before, and I myself was a member of that party, who created a gatekeeper. And on the other side, you had the PMM creating another gatekeeper. And it took many, many years in this country for the people to realize that they were under the spell of two gatekeepers. In 2010, one gatekeeper has decided to opt out, and the other gatekeeper is saying that he is ready, willing to leave. The gatekeepers are gone, and now it is up to us to build a new Trinidad and Tobago. But while the gatekeepers may have gone, the gates are still there. And there will be people who are tempted to walk through those gates. We must prevent those gates from ever having any sense of permanence in this country because from now on we must treat our citizens not as flocks in whose name we rule, but we must treat our citizens as having all equal rights.